Shabbat Shalom. Don't do me any favors. Not only is beauty in the eye of the beholder, but so are good deeds. What may seem like a favor to one person is really an annoyance to another. In this week's parasha, Yaakov and Esau reunite. When they meet, they embrace, they kiss, and they weep. A famous Midrash states that Yaakov wept out of joy, but Esau wept because when he actually tried to kiss Yaakov, he actually tried to bite him. But a miracle happened, and Yaakov's neck turned into marble, and, ya and Esau broke his teeth, and that's why he cried. And one of the great Hasidic masters, the Sfas Emes, asked what the connection there is, other than linguistically, between neshika, a kiss, and neshika, a bite. He answers by teaching that the kiss and the bite were actually one and the same, that it all depends on the perspective. To Esau, it was a kiss, but to Yaakov, it was a bite. When we try and do something nice for someone else, we often evaluate it with our own eyes. But for it to be truly nice, it has to be nice in the eyes of the person for whom we're doing it. We should never forget that when doing something nice for someone else, we must always consider how our action is perceived in their eyes. I look forward to seeing you on Shabbat this week at Tabor Matzion. Friday night at 7.30, our religious school students from Kita Gimel and Kita Dalit will help us lead services. And Shabbat morning at 9 a.m., all the religious school students will be there for Kolot Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom.